start a new one here. It's part 11. Uh, Phyllis of Cure, that was on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. I had the uh, tarp and the heater inside the boat and the tarp over it for one day. And that pretty much hardened it up and then one day extra with no heat uh, cured it. So um, probably another day. It's, it's uh, for sanding. If you had to sand a lot, I would wait another day. But it's good enough now. I've gone in with some 60 grit. Just wrapped around a piece of uh, PVC pipe that's the right diameter. So, got that. And I also took my chisel here. Just to, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. And I've come along, where we get the camera here, and just kind of lightly scraped like this. No pressure, just enough to take any little surface scribbles out. You don't have to sand it. Uh, you can if you want, but you don't have to. So now I'm going to vacuum up all the dust that I created and then we'll start uh, putting in the glass tape. First I got to warm up the epoxy. Well, we're going to have a little race here to see whether I finish this or run out of epoxy first. So I have plenty of uh, glass tape. I'm going to do this a little differently so I don't waste epoxy. Uh, where's my scissors? Need the scissors to dart the, uh, the ends to keep from building up too much of a pile of stuff in the, in the corners. Give you a little self a little chevron there. Push it down into the corner. Line up with the uh, tape with the lines you've made. Smooth it in place. And then give yourself some, you can square cut it at the top here. Take, suck up epoxy while I'm doing this side. Normally, if you've seen my videos, I normally uh, do one, one side or one tape all the way around and come back. But it doesn't really matter. It all cures. prognosticating about whether or not to do this this afternoon. It's sunny out. I could go work in the yard or whatever. And I thought, well, it takes, takes more time to put it off and it actually comes out and does it. It's a pretty quick function. sanding those fillets, I was really, really happy with the way they came out. Fairly smooth and fairly easy. That, uh, that ball uh, really works good. And uh, the only problem I was having was when I started out I was using too much, as I noted in the comments there. And it was a little too cold.
see the tape starting to suck up some of the uh, epoxy there. I guess I can go ahead and brush on some more. I'll let it out a little more. Keep it down in the in the groove, and you don't freaking drip on it. Use your brush to uh, move it up and down. Okay, do something completely different here. It's actually a little bit wider than what's marked. So pick one of the lines and the other one will follow suit. hold it down and start the wetting out process. And we're using our trusty toothbrush again. Sometimes it helps to bring in the trusty blade. Pull some of the epoxy out. Be careful that you don't pull it out of the uh, radius. Keep it clean. Press it down with your fingers, find a line to line it up with. And cut the weight off. Just trying to pull it. 
it out. Okay. And these uh, little uh, square boxes I made really make it easy to uh, reel the stuff out and not get it all tangled up. Probably got a three ounce mix here. Two A one D. Get it so they just kind of overlap in the corners, not a whole lot. You don't, damn it, Clint, you don't want to build up a, a whole wad of material there. Just kind of bevel them in. Just a just a little bit of overlap. Clean your uh, clean all the much pocket as you can get out of your brush so it doesn't start going stiff on you. I've got this starboard side one laid out, and one of the things you wanted to do too is as you're going along, look for because it's radiusing this way, I had a little pucker down here, so you want to kind of chase some of the, because the weave, throw me out here, the weave is kind of open and you can close it down and open it up in other places. So if you si see yourself getting a little pucker because of the curvature here, um, just take your, your fingers like this and pull them Pull them one way or the other, and you can get rid of that little little puff in there. The other thing you got to worry about too with the uh, colder temperatures is the uh, epoxy will start kicking, but it also wants to be really uh, viscous as it sets for a while, and it becomes more problematic in getting it to lay down smoothly without. I've got this really wetted out. A lot of good epoxy in there. Helps if you got a nice thick coat. Bevel our ends and then stick her down in there and into the corner. Start pulling it out. And I found too that it's it's um, handier to press on the vertical side here first, to get this edge down hard first and lined up, and then you can mess with the 
moving the weave in and out down here on the part that's going to be curved more. The vertical part is curved uh, in a pretty flat plane, the vertical plane, whereas the, the one on the bottom here has got to make that arc. helps too if you've got a, a good layer of a, epoxy on the bottom. And right here, I, as I'm pushing it in, I'm getting some puckers right in here. So I'm pulling them around, moving some of the excess down into places where it eventually disappears. It just kind of like folds together and goes away. Bring this three inch for the corners. Got the uh, boat mostly cleaned up. And you save yourself a lot of sand and work. You go around and you don't have to whiten up, just flatten out any little um, drips you see, any little thick spots. Just don't disturb the uh, tape. Just get up close. Maybe. Uh, one more mix, three ounce mix left. I was running out of the uh, hardener. Seems like no matter how well you measure, <laughs> you, wanna, you run out of one before you do the other one. So, I'll go ahead and uh, finish the rest of this off off camera and so this will be another one and I'll probably go in and edit this one tonight and add it to the one we just filleted so uh, after this we'll be coming we'll be doing the uh, the rails uh, I'll uh, let this cure for a couple days and come back and do some sanding on the sellage I might do a little a little bit on that uh, but uh, other than that I you know uh, trim off the edges up here where they extend above the rails and uh, we'll start putting the rails on, I guess, will be the next big thing. So we'll see you later. Bye.